Hello, in this screencast I'm going to quickly show you how to activate the DSpace discovery module which essentially enables faceted search and browse of a typical DSpace instance. I already have uh, a DSpace, excuse me, sorry. I already have a DSpace uh, instance installed and what will happen once I activate the discovery module is there will be a separate uh, section which will appear as a sidebar facet on the right hand side of this mannequin in uh, user interface effectively making it possible for end users to drill down to resources by specifying various search criteria at the same time. Uh, so the DSpace wiki page uh, located right here has a comprehensive uh, uh, list of steps that you'd otherwise have to follow to actually uh, enable the discovery module and you notice that there's uh, a total of about five steps that have to be followed. The first thing you need to do is uh, edit the XML UI uh, .x config file which is essentially uh, located in the config directory of the base installation directory. So the first thing you need to do is uh, log on to the machine where the DSpace uh, instance is installed and quickly navigate to the base installation directory in my case this is where I have this space installed. And then quickly navigate to the config directory right there. And inside that directory is the XML UI.x config file. Open it up and quickly search for the word discover. And you notice that uh, this uh, section of the file essentially has a uh, uh, instructions on how you'd otherwise go about uh, activating the discovery module. And so the first thing you need to do is uh, and comment uh, and comment this section of the code right there. Right there so that you, uh, you, you basically uncomment the discovery portion of the code and at the same time as the manual states you comment out the search artifacts which in my case is located right here on line 69 so you comment out this portion of the XML code and save the file and then proceed on to step number two which basically involves you uh, including the word discover as one of the items for the uh, event or dispatcher dot default dot consumer uh, property uh, so to do that, uh, we'll just basically search for this, uh, I should mention here that it's actually, uh, this section of code is located in this particular file, which is in the same location as the XML, uh, UI, uh, .xconfig file. You open it up and browse to the section of the code which in our case is right here and just add a uh, discovery to the list like that and then within that same file what you do is you navigate to the section of the code that has uh, this particular text here and what what you do is you need to comment out uh, this uh, uh, property value pair because this is directly tied to the default uh, search uh, module that is integrated with this space uh, once you install it. So comment it out and basically just uh, or rather change the value fi the value from five to zero. But I'll just comment it out. Once you're done with that, uh, save uh, the file and basically just confirm that the uh, the discovery.config file which is located in this particular path right here has the correct details for your source server. And so I'll navigate to the modules uh, directory which is located in that directory path and basically just open the discovery uh, module. You notice that I'm, I'm actually running my source server on port 8080 and it's actually located right there and so everything is essentially fine. 
but you just basically have to pay close uh, attention or particular attention to uh, basically the, the port uh, onto which or on which the source server runs. And then once you do that, the next step is basically to uh, to run the update discovery uh, index uh, uh, command, this space command. Uh, so quickly navigate to the bin directory where the uh, this uh, shell script is located, and then just uh, run the update. Uh, uh, run it with the update discovery uh, index uh, argument. Just quickly wait. There we go. And then that's basically it. The next step is basically to verify that the sidebar facet uh, is visible and what you need to do before you actually do the verification is install, uh, excuse me, uh, restart your uh, your servlet, uh, your servlet uh, engine, and in my case, I'm using Tomcat. So quickly refresh. Okay, there we go. You notice here that the discovery uh, sidebar facet just appeared right here. Thank you. I hope the uh, screencast uh, was helpful.